Hello friends, welcome back to Margaret Spells TV and I hope you're keeping well. For those who are new here, here is a warm welcome to Margaret Spells TV family. For those who have been here and returning to my channel, I thank you for listening to the contents of my channel time and time again. This episode of Equality, Diversity and Inclusion Part 3 is dedicated to the Black History Month United Kingdom. This year's theme is Proud to Be, inspired by the 2020 Black Lives Matter events. People have been encouraged to share what they are proud of on social media. I am excited to celebrate our Black ancestors, those still with us, their contributions and how they spurred us to do more in our world today. Perhaps a background to Black History Month would be useful. Black History Month has its roots in the 1930s in America. In the United Kingdom, Black History Month was first marked in October 1987 as part of the African Jubilee Year. Indeed, it's been a challenging time for many black people, with so much in the media about racism, inequality and injustice. This year, we've been given the opportunity to celebrate, inspire and share the pride people have in their heritage and culture, in their own way, in their own words, and in the vast richness of our diversity in the United Kingdom. Catherine Ross, editor at Black History Month United Kingdom said, Black Lives Matter means people being able to live life to the fullest without having to compromise who they are. Everyone deserves the right to be proud to be everything they are and want to be in life. In Wales, the St. Vagans National Museum of History, one of Europe's largest open-air museums, will display the stories of the Windrush families and their descendants, explaining how they contributed to Welsh communities and culture. It follows the unveiling of a statue of Wales' first black head teacher, Betty Campbell, in Cardiff. Next year, Wales is to become the first United Kingdom nation to make the teaching of black, Asian and minority ethnic histories and experiences mandatory in the school curriculum. In Scotland, the Coalition for Racial Equality and Rights, which has coordinated Scotland's Black History Month program since 2001, is hosting talks, workshops, exhibitions and concerts. On the 20th of October 2021, the Imperial War Museum in London will open an exhibition featuring the inspiring stories of black men and women during the Second World War. Among them are 18-year-old Billy Strachan, who sold his bicycle and saxophone to pay for a voyage, voyage from Jamaica to Britain to join the Royal Air Force and Seth Anthony, who in 1942 became the first black African-born soldier to become an officer in the British Army. The exhibition also features the stories of Thomas Andy, a seaman from Nigeria, and Lillian Bada, a Liverpoolian, who became one of the first women to qualify as a Royal Air Force instrument repairer. Some of their possessions will be displayed for the first time. I am hoping to see more equality, diversity and conscious inclusion of marginalized groups all over the world. There needs to be ongoing discussion and implementation of discussion and policies in addition to us taking opportunities available to us. I am certain this episode resonates with some of us to a degree and I hope it hasn't caused you any form of distress. And perhaps it does, please do talk about it openly and seek help where necessary. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks ever so much for listening. Until we meet again, please stay safe. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye for now.